Cheers. After the win over Akron at home, wrapped up the four game homestand 4 0. Coach, just overall thoughts on today's game? Yeah, I thought they really gritted it out. Um, we had a billion turnovers, and you could see them mentally slipping. And it's our third game in six days, so they were definitely a little gassed. Um, we tried to be a little freestyling with the uh, lineup changes later in the game just to get fresh legs out there. Um, but they did it. They dug out of the hole that they kind of made for themselves. Um, they took care of possessions a little bit more, not all the way that we'd like to see them, but again, I'm, I'm kind of linking that up to a lot of fatigue. Um, and they really backed each other up. When we made lineup changes, when we had a whole different defense in, when we had a whole different offense in, they really like kind of pulled it together. And that's what I think I was most proud of today. And you talked about three games in six days. Just what did it take for that team to come together and win all three? Yeah, I didn't think it was impacting us as much as it did um, until we, I mean, even yesterday at practice, I was kind of like, the energy's a little lower and then warm-ups I saw it today. So it wasn't all that surprising. Um, when our zone was slow to respond to um, the play, we were being reactive instead of proactive on passes. Um, so we kind of had to just call that possession timeout late in the game and, and reminded them what was on the line. Um, and I think that they did, they did better with that. And they're definitely looking forward to the day off tomorrow. Yeah, so it was 8-8 in the fourth quarter. Uh, what, did, what did your team do to come away with the win? Honestly, um, we just have to be consistent and not play certain teams a certain way just because it's not conference or it's not, you know, an 8-10 team or whatever. So the possession timeout was to catch their breath. Um, we had the ball. There was a three-man swarm on our defender in transition. I thought it was a good time to do it. Um, and then I just reminded them that we don't play a different game just because we're playing non-conference or we're playing a team from Ohio or whatever it was. Um, and just had to remind them kind of who we are and what we wanted to do if we we're going to be successful in conference. And that really worked. That's kind of when you saw it turn and they were like, right, okay. So um, that was good to see response. A couple first uh, career goals today and you talked about getting them in late in the game, um, how they stepped up and yeah. were able to score late. <clears throat> they did great, and I said it just now in the locker room. Um, you know, you get kids that get major minutes most games, and they can slow their feet to play, they can overthink, they can try to get a little overly fancy sometimes, and you can get a kid off the bench that has wheels, and she's got energy because she didn't play in the last game, perhaps. Um, they're not overthinking. They just want to get the ball back, and they just want to work really, really hard for their team. So um, that was the kind of juice, I think, that we kind of threw in there today. Um, and I just gave them snaps in the locker room. It was really nice to see that, and I think it was also really good for those starters to see that, too. And then Mackenzie hit 100 career points. Uh, can you just talk about her impact, not only in the game today, but in her first three years here as a Duke? Yeah, Max is awesome. Um, she works really, really hard. Um, we've come a long way together. She recognizes that not um, every day means goal production or assist production, that she has to work on draws. She has to work on those ground balls. She had a couple really nice cause turnovers today that I think got us a lot of momentum early in the game. Um, so we applaud that. It's tough being a two-way midfielder in Division Lacrosse, Division one Lacrosse, and she did a really, really good job with it. So um, we're looking forward to getting her 150 points because I definitely think she can do it by her senior year. And then last thing, just how do you carry this momentum into the, the two-game road stretch over spring break? Yeah, we get a spring break trip. Um, they get a day off their legs. Um, we'll have some good scout practice coming up for Radford. And I know Queens is going to be a tough game. So I think they're just excited to get on a bus and become a team on the road. We haven't been able to really do that yet. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. That's why we play lacrosse and just not take ourselves too seriously. And uh, maybe come back with some wins. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.